Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Dawn and Dreams. It is Priestess of the African River Eagle, aka Ms. Z, on this channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video. If you would, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Comment down below which one you chose. I love to read the comments. If you would like to book a reading with me, please go to dawnanddreams.com. Make sure you read the description um, for anything that you purchase. I also offer classes and courses if you want to upgrade spiritually. Um, what else? Products are on the website. And if you want to follow me on Don and Dreams, um, it's the name is the same. Please follow me there for visions and predictions that I have coming towards the future. All right, guys. So this reading is going to be, uh, what do you need to focus on this spring? So we are officially in spring as the calendar marks it, but honestly, we've been in spring, um, since like February. So, you know, but Officially, we are in spring as it is now in March. Um, so we're going to uh, get messages about what you need to focus on for this spring. Okay. We have three pals. Feather one. Feather two. And feather three. Pick which one resonates with you. If you need more time, please pause the video. We're going to get right into it. All right. So for pal one, you picked this feather. So some of the messages that come forth first is that you need to get out of the house more, okay? So this is about enjoying yourself. Um, it definitely can be going to like parks and, you know, nature spaces and things like that. But it can also be just generally getting out the house. Like, I feel like you've been cooped in the house for way too long, especially in the winter. Regardless if you have friends or not, Spirit is encouraging you to get outside, experience new things, do new things, and plan, okay? Uh, from spring to summer, you have a long time to really just kind of get out there, enjoy the summer sun, plan for trips. Even if it's a small vacation, treat yourself to something different, okay? So let's see what is it that you need to focus on this spring because i feel like um those of you in this pile if you have any creators block it's because you're not getting out the house enough it's because you're not seeing enough things so if you feel stuck in your life purpose and things like that you want to know the next steps you need to take it's just that you need to go out and see different things and do different things and that's going to start to inspire you what do you need to focus on for this spring Spirit says a lot of truths have brought you um, sadness, okay? Um, I'm seeing in this pile some things being taken away from you, whether it's friendships, partners, um, certain things that you wanted, certain things have been taken away from you. Mm. I see in this pile, you need to focus on going in a different direction in life and not being afraid of where that leads you. What do you need to focus on for this spring? Healing. Healing. There's a lot of things that you need to cleanse this spring. There's a lot of things that you need to cleanse out so that growth can start for you. Because I feel like you've sacrificed a lot for people. You've given a lot to people and you haven't received that in return. But spirit has brought a lot of truth to you and has opened your eyes to a lot of things. So this spring is really about cleansing. So when you see the, um, the rain coming, I don't know what area you're in, but over here we get a lot of rain. So uh, with these spring showers, you need to be getting out and experiencing some of that. That's going to be very healing for you to collect rainwater. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, because you've been blocked, you know, even in your regular life, even, you know, you trying to get up to do things, you don't really have motivation to do it. So spirit speaks about you need to cleanse away all that dark energy from the past, from people who have hurt you and things like that so that you can start enjoying your life again. And again, you have truth here. It's coming up in both decks. I'm not making it up. You have truth as protection. So they're trying to tell you, hey, you know, the truth that came to you, don't be in denial about it. It may make you sad to understand certain things about certain people and, you know, the truth about what somebody has done to you, things like that. It may hurt, but at the same time, it protects you in the long run because you don't have to make those same mistakes twice. You don't have to go through those things. It's really not a mistake, but, you know, you don't have to go through those same lessons twice. Spirit wants you to get back to understanding that life is a gamble, you know. We have to laugh at our pain sometimes and move forward. Because we're only going to be, that's why I always tell people, we're only going to be here for a short amount of time. Even if we're here 120 years, we're still here for only a short amount of time. Trees live longer than us. So enjoy your life. Don't keep holding on to things that have held you down and people that have held you down. Relationships that have held you down. I see you going in a different direction. Mm-hmm. See, it keeps coming up. Clarity. I see you've been hurt by a lot of things, but, and that's why I told you getting out in nature and, and experiencing things. They're talking about empowerment through the earth. So some of you need to go, you know, near some like water, some rivers, oceans, like you really, really need to cleanse and, you know, accept your life where it is right now and plan for the future. Okay. Um, but the ancestors want you to know that you are supported. Okay. So let's look and see what you need to be doing for um, the spring. What you need to focus on. I'm going to pull from three more decks and then we'll close out this one. So this is just a little quick reading. <laughs> I really feel like you need to be getting back to you and project, excuse me, projects that you dropped off from. Yeah, Spirit says you made a lot of investments. Mm hmm Yeah, and it's led to a lot of heartache, too. So, again, for some of you, this is relationships. For some of you, this could be something that you invested in. Like, maybe you... Um, I don't know if it's college or something like that. Maybe you tried to get into something and it really didn't work out. Um, it could be, you know, it could really be anything. It could be people, friends, things like that. I see that you've invested in these people and whatever it was that you invested in. Maybe it was a career goal and it didn't go the way that you wanted it to go. I'm also seeing some of you going into debt or you have went into debt. So now it's time for you to, again, go a different direction. Start working on your foundation again. I see a lot of you starting over. But, you know, in the end, I see you having fulfillment. I see you getting your mind right. Mm -hmm. um, for some of you, it's going to be like you're going into this space where you, you're a little bit more cold-hearted in a sense. And that's not necessarily the route spirit wants you to take. But at the end of the day, you're not going to let your emotions drive you anymore. So this spring is about getting back to you. And cleansing out um, old trauma, old burdens, and things like that that you've had on you for a minute. See, that just popped out. Freedom. Following your intuition, your journey, your path. Getting back on the path. Getting back on the path. Intuition. Letting go of resentment, you know, towards people. Things of that nature. And for some of you, this is a, a few of you who are in um, relationships that didn't work out. You had children with somebody. It didn't work out. Spirit's talking about moving forward. It's encouragement for you to start living your life again. 
not trying to force something to work. Just, you know, do what you can to find peace in yourself so that you can start again. Mm hmm. Mm. I'm also seeing um, initiation for some of you, okay? Um, this is going to be, it doesn't have to be, like I said, a, a, I always say that. <laughs> it doesn't have to be like an initiation to some type of religion or something like that. So initiation really just means to begin a journey. So there's going to be a new journey for some of you when it comes to your spirituality. And for me, it, it looks like your your overall life because you're going to start a new foot. You're going to be aligning yourself with your destiny. You also have some ancestors that you need to get in touch with. You're going to learn how to keep negative things and negative spirits away from your space. Some of you are going to be relocating too. It probably won't be until summer, but I see some of you relocating, going into a different space. But that's what I get for power one. Let's go on to power two. All right. So for power two, what do you need to focus on this spring? Well, for one thing you need to know is that you're on the right path. This power, you know, you often doubt yourself if you're going in the right direction. And this is your confirmation that you are going in the right direction. Uh, for some of you, it's going to be a time of really downloading more information, even though it's spring. It's still going to be a time for downloading information. So you're going to be buying some books and things like that, doing some more research in areas that you want to learn, um, improving things overall, improving your gifts, improving your lifestyle, making things better. So some of you who have businesses, you want to make things better. You're going to think up new ways and opportunities to improve yourself. Okay. You're already on the right path. So some of you may already have something of a following or something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is crazy. You mentally feel like, you know, um, something's not going right when really it is. You know, everything is going the way that it should go. Even if you have to be patient, even if it's just not popping off right in the moment, it's like everything is going the way that it needs to. Yeah, I see some of you making some new investments. You have a lot of um, anxiety. Spirit says that you're going to have to think up a new schedule for yourself. Some of you are working too many hours. So spirit wants you to work a little bit less, but still get the same amount of money. So for some of you, that means to add on different things to your business. Uh, maybe, you know, get promoted at a job. If there's a promotion available, go ahead and sign up for it. Those type of things. Because spirit wants you to spend more time on you and enjoying yourself, okay? Because a lot of you are overworking yourself. Mm, this is good. Some of you, okay, so this is the thing. And it just depends on what your situation is. If you're single, I think that that extra time is going to be put towards maybe dating, you know, going out on dates, enjoying yourself, things like that. And for those of you who are in a relationship, you could still go on dates, uh, maybe getting back to what you used to be. What do I want to say? Rekindling flames. That's what I wanted to say. I lost my train of thought. Rekindling flames. Like there's going to be something going on with that. Um, you need a little bit more pleasure in your life. Mm -hmm. I see some doors and opportunities opening up. I see that you're going to be um, reserving your money. You're going to make more smarter decisions this spring. And spirit is encouraging you. If you've been spending your money all crazy, you know, this is your confirmation. <laughs> Save your money. You're going to need it. I think for a bigger investment. 
All right, let's see. Yeah. Victory, accomplishment. You've already accomplished a lot of things, though. Do I have these cards backwards? I think I do. I think this pile is too focused on the next step, okay? Like, you're too focused on, okay, what do I need to be doing next? Is there something else for me to do? Like, you know, you're too focused on that. Like, yes, you're already on the right path, so you're moving in the right directions that you need to. You're always in a place of reflection. And I see you improving yourself regardless. You're always a person that wants to improve yourself. So this spring, you know, of course you're still going to be doing that, but you also need to take time to relax and realize that you've already accomplished a lot of things. Because I see you trying to find even more ways to use your energy. <laughs> so make sure that you make time for things that keep you happy, like your partner. If you, Of course, if you have a loving partner. But if you have a loving partner, you know, if you have kids and things like that, make time for those things too. Because you also need to balance out your work with some type of play. Okay? A lot of things will be growing for you. So like I said, I see opportunities. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a lot of change for this pal. Mm. Let's see what's going on. You're just going to have a lot of energy to do a lot of things. What do you need to focus on this spring? What do you need to focus on this spring? And I forgot to mention that. Release your worries. You worry too much. Mm. There's going to be some people who want to connect with you. Okay? But I think that you're so much under stress, you're not going to want to do that. Again, you keep getting accomplishment. You keep getting... So most people in this pile are probably entrepreneurs, leaders, managers, things of that nature. And you see they're saying the same thing. Balancing out your income. Um, so you have to find some lists of happiness within so that way you're not spending your money everywhere. Because like I said, there's going to be something that you need to save for. So spirit's talking about saving your money. Let's pull this last. See, this pile is really big on that wealth, abundance, growth, and legacy. You're very, very big on, you know, setting up future generations. You know, it doesn't even matter how young you are watching this pile. You're very focused on, you know, setting up a good legacy for yourself, um, going to new heights, doing new things, you know, opening up that franchise. That's, that's you. You have a mindset of a hustler. So you're going to constantly be trying to get yourself into things. And that is fine. You're going to be very encouraged to do that this spring. But make sure that you're balancing out your time and your energy. Because I just see you being overworked and stressing about how you can be better all the time. There's someone who recently passed on for you as well too, saying thank you for keeping me in your thoughts and memories. I love you. Yeah, you're going to be assisted. You're being assisted during this time by your higher guardians. inspired so you have a lot of creative drive you have a lot of creative drive Whew, okay mm -mm. spirit wants to remind you that you have a long time to be here okay um i see you being a very well-developed person you know as you go on in life and as you grow old so understand that you're going to have a lot of things to be proud of. And your ancestors are very, very proud of you as it is right now. Because I see, again, just a lot of different things going on with you. You have a lot of spiritual development. Spirit saying, don't forget about that. Um, but you also have a lot of improvements coming to whatever it is that you're doing. Whether it is your career goals, if it's a, just a career, it's going to be a lot of improvements to that. It's going to be a lot of branching off with that. Um, and if it is, if you're a public figure, I see you getting more opportunities to get noticed. Um, to get famous and things like that. 
And if you have a business, I see you expanding in some type of way. So this is a lot more work that's coming towards you in spring. So you do need to be focused towards that. But just keep in mind, you have to balance out your finances and you want to balance out your energy so that you are getting a break and don't have anxiety about, you know, you're not on the right path or what do you need to do to get on the right path? You're already in the process of that. All right, so let's go on to path three. All right, so what do you need to focus on for spring? Okay, so this is my spiritual pal. I always have one <laughs> that's a little bit more aimed towards spirituality. Um, hmm. I feel like some initiations are going to be started or completed for you. Let's see what's coming. You're going to be more outright with your expression this spring. So um, there's a lot of things that's going to change for you as it pertains to your style um, and the way that you express yourself. Hmm. I see a lot of you making major moves. Mm-hmm. Major uh, financial investments, the things that you want to invest in. So if you have like a business that you want to start, I see you making an investment in that. If it's a career goal, I see you investing in that. There's some type of investment that you're going to be really quick to make. Um, it's going to be a good investment too. It's going to help you financially. Maybe it's some changes that you need to make. Maybe it's some organizing of your finances. But this is going to overall help you like you getting a plan together. Well, I'm going to pay off, you know, this debt. I'm going to save up for this. I'm going to put money into this. Whatever you're going to do this spring is actually going to help you. OK, overall. We need to focus on the spring. <laughs> See, this is why I don't make stuff up. Look at that. Self-expression in the reverse. What did I just say? Self-expression and victory. So I told you that this spring, you're going to be focusing on self-expression, putting yourself out there more, being a little bit more of you. So uh, be open to change. Be open to change. Whether, whatever it comes to it, either it's your style or it's just the way that you want to express yourself. Okay? I see you being more forward about that. And with the victory card that comes in where I just said about basically you making certain investments, but it's actually going to help you and reward you in the future. A lot of growth around you. Mm. Um, some of you are going to be picking up practices spiritually. You're going to be picking up uh, different spiritual practices. I'm not sure, you know, what tradition and tribe is going to be for you, but it's going to be something that you're going to initiate yourself to, something you're going to begin with. It's a beginning of something that you're going to start. Uh, it's going to help you to find inner peace. Some of you deal with depression and things like that. So your spirituality is actually going to help you to purify these things, you know, the things that you're going through mentally, and you're going to start to feel more whole. Okay, um, so this is probably going to be something that you do outside. You may have activity that you want to do outside. You may want to pick up dancing, um, spiritual dancing, whatever it is that you feel like you want to do. Uh, it is encouraged this spring that you focus on that because it's actually going to help you to remove the burdens, you know, remove the energy of feeling like you're alone in this world. So it's going to help you to feel more whole. And I think that goes back to self-expression because once you feel more whole, more of yourself, you can be more yourself. I need to focus on this spring. All right, we need to focus on this spring. Getting inspired, keeping your head clear, 
remaining focused on your goals, not letting things get to you and distract you. Yeah, some of you are going to start to understand how you feel. Um, you ignore a lot of your feelings in this pile. So some of you are going to start to understand how you feel through, again, these spiritual practices that you're going to pick up. I also see some more ancestral work being done, but you have the, the bloodline ancestors coming forth to say, we are proud of you. Summon by your call, give specific offerings. I see marriage being very strong in this pile. Union being very strong in this pile. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of ancestors around you, okay? Cards just fall everywhere. Mm. Some of you are going to be, um, okay, and this is up to you. However you want to take this, okay? Well, I'm just going to say some things are for some people, some things aren't. But some of you are going to be leaving jobs to go, to go on to do something else, okay? Uh, there's going to be a transition for you. Something that's more in alignment and resonant with your spirit at this point in time. Mm. And for some of you, it could be things that you feel like you were holding yourself back in. You're no longer going to be restricted in that area, Okay. I don't make that up. Initiation, I told you. There's an initiation, so it's time for you to be in alignment with your destiny. And your spirit team is very connected to you. So they're going to try to find ways for you to be less restricted in your life. You may feel very restricted to, like I said, a job or people or things. So spirit's going to find you different solutions. And ways to get out of things that you feel like you're you're locked down to. Okay, last thing. What do you need to focus on this spring? Inner harmony, being happy. Investing in the things that you want to do. Stop holding yourself back. Your creativity. Last card, spirit. What do you need to focus on for spring? self-respect yeah, that's what i'm telling you like if there's something about you feeling like you being held back you might not be getting paid enough for your time your energy your space so now it's time for you to reinvent yourself you know i think that's why you're going to be looking a little bit different even if you don't change the style you might be looking a little bit different a little bit more crazy and people are not going to mess with you people are not going to you know treat you the same way that they did because you're coming off with a different persona a different side of yourself that you've been kind of locked down with so you're going to start putting your foot down about things that you say and mean so these changes are actually going to help you your foundation your environment you're going to be looked at more as a leader at this point in your life okay all right, so that is pretty much it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it, and peace.